What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. For the last several years, I've always previewed the new equipment coming out in 2020 for football. You guys always love to see this video. So this year is no different. I am gonna go through three brands. I have the Nike catalog, I have the Adidas catalog, and I have the Under Armour catalog. You can expect to see a few things in this video. I'm gonna go through all the different things that are coming out, especially the relevant ones to the athletes. I'm gonna call out who it's relevant for, whether you're a high school athlete, college athlete, whether you're a parent, whether you're a youth, uh, whether you play flag football or not, I'm gonna go through all that for all the different brands that I have here. I am gonna start with Nike. The reason I'm gonna start with Nike is their catalog's actually pretty short. Uh, I've put out their newest stuff in advance year after year, and this is the first year where they've really taken great care not to have that on the internet. Um, actually spoke to them about it, and they did not want to have this shown uh, before next year. So I will talk about the details that I know. It's just what's in the catalog. And I will have the links this year to the catalogs in the description straight on the Nike website. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's the contents of the Nike catalog. You've got the custom stuff, digital, stock, headwear, footwear, accessories, equipment, digital options. I know you guys are probably excited about the gloves and equipment, but there's a lot of stuff in here that I'm gonna go through. This is just a photo of their new digital print that you can see in some of their compression material as well as their uniform. Here's just the custom stuff. So if you are a coach looking at this catalog, uh, here is the newest jersey from Nike, the Nike Custom Vapor Untouchable, and you can customize it with a number of different things. You can see here, there's different colors that you can have as well as different sleeve options. So you've got the cap, they call it. This is what a lot of the skill players wear, the kind of the more modern style. You have the skill, which is gonna be a shorter sleeve. And then you have the, what they're calling the QB, which is the, the longer sleeve that actually has a sleeve on the jersey. Most of you modern players are really going to like the cap. That's what you're seeing here in the picture. Same thing with the pants, different designs. Uh, again, you guys ordering custom uniforms are going to want to look at these first couple pages. Now I'm gonna bypass and go to past the custom stuff. You can see there's lots of different custom jerseys in here that you can choose from. I'm gonna go to some of the stock jerseys. Now here's the stock stuff. So um, this is really for your smaller football teams, uh, your youth teams. You guys are probably really gonna like the stock. Uh, this is just in their catalog what you can order. It comes in a variety of colors. Uh, they have different types of jerseys. Again, this is the, if I start at the top of the stock, this is gonna be their stock Vapor Untouchable. It's going to be their most premium stock jersey. It's gonna be the same exact material as the custom stuff, but it's just gonna come in stock colors. Here is their Vapor Pro jersey. Uh, so it, it's again, it's gonna be a little bit cheaper than the Vapor Untouchable. And you can see they had different designs. They have the uh, designs on the cuff. So going past this stuff now, this is, I really like this stuff. This is the Nike Pro Vapor Speed 2 sleeve this top. I believe they had the Vapor Speed 2 last year as well. And if you guys play seven on seven or flag football, these tops, these pants, uh, to me are a must have. Now, a lot of you guys have custom jerseys for your tops, so you're probably not gonna be ordering the tops unless your whole team is outfitted in this. But I love the pants uh, here. Now these pants are going to, uh, it's a little bit of a different design than the ones I have. I have the original Vapor Speed tights, but they have knee pads integrated and they also have hip pads uh, in here. And they're three fourths length, so you can still wear compression under it, um, but they are seamless. Um, they give you lots of maneuverability. Uh, they are 70%, 77% polyester, 23% spandex. They stretch and they're super comfortable. Again, this is gonna be something, if you play seven on seven, you're going to wanna look for this. Now this is the team catalog, so how do you order this? Um, I'm actually not too sure. I know that if you search eBay, you are able to find some of the Vapor Pro speed tights on there. All right, so this is some of the padded apparel uh, in the Nike line. Uh, again, they, they had some of this stuff last year in terms of the three-fourths tights where you have the integrated knee pads, hip pads, uh, tailbone pad, and thigh pads. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a different design, but they still offer that in 2020. I'm gonna bypass some of this stuff. This is just the hyper warm. I'm gonna go past some of the training material and the sweats. I'm gonna go into, okay. So here's probably what you guys came to this video to see. Um, here's what I know about the cleats coming out. 
there are there is a new vapor design the current vapor untouchable 3 pro has been on the market for two years and Nike after two years they usually come out with a brand new design what you can see here I don't have any pictures but you do have the names Nike vapor edge is going to be replaced the Nike vapor untouchable they've got the vapor edge pro 360 that's going to be hundred and twenty dollars so it doesn't look like as of now we will have an elite that retails for two hundred dollars so it looks like that top line is going to be the vapor edge pro 360 um, to be honest, I, I do think they'll do an elite. I just don't think it's in this team catalog. So maybe we can look forward to that. You got the Vapor Edge team. That's going to replace the, uh, the Vapor uh, Speed cleat. Uh, it's going to be a little bit cheaper at $85 instead of $90. And then you have the Nike Vapor Edge turf. That's going to be a turf cleat, uh, similar like they've had the Vapor Untouchable turf cleat, uh, or turf shoe, I should say. That's going to come in two colors. You can see black, white and white black. When we go to the look at the Vapor Edge Pro 360, this is going to have a new plate. Uh, and I say that because it says the Nike Vapor Edge Pro 360 offers a new degree of quickness. So we can expect a new plate. Looks like wide stud placements let you cut like never before. So I'm excited to see that. I'll see if maybe I can give you guys an early preview um, or do a review right when it comes out. It also is going to have an internal full foot plate that offers flexible support. So I don't know what that is. If you had paid attention to the NFL, you might see, or even in college, especially as the playoffs come for college football and NFL, you might see some players wearing some cleats. So if you see some players wearing a new vapor cleat that you've never seen before, definitely try to screenshot it, uh, tag me in on Instagram, or shoot it to my email. Uh, you guys have my email. It's in the link uh, in my bio on Instagram. And then we're going to have a new Vapor Edge to replace the speeds. Lightweight durability. It's still going to have a printed synthetic leather upper. That's the same thing they had this year. Low cut collar lets you move your foot freely. And then it says a 12 stud configuration provides explosive speed. It doesn't look like that's going to be a new plate. Um, that actually might be very similar to the speed cleat that we have now just with a new name. And of course, they'll still have the Alpha Menace Pro 2. Uh, that just came out this year, so we're going to see that again for next year. They won't replace the Alpha Menaces until, uh, I don't think, until 2021. But you're going to have the Pro. Um, obviously, there's an Elite, and you don't see the Elite in this catalog either. So that's more reason why I do think there's going to be a Vapor Edge Pro Elite. Um, maybe it will be high. Can't wait to see that. And then here is the rest of the line. Again, these are already out. That's why the pictures are here. But you have the Force uh, Savages, uh, the Elite, the Pro, and you have the Pro with a wide plate as well. That's this, the Pro 2 wide. So you wide foot guys out there from Team Sports, you, it is available to you. Um, but right now it's not sold uh, at your normal retail outlet or on the Nike website. And then here's just more training stuff. So they're coming out with a new Pegasus. Pegasus is uh, what I ran in in college. Love the Pegasus. They're on their 37th edition. Um, but it's still a great all-around neutral running shoe for those of you looking for a running shoe. And if you play a sport, Nike's a team school for you, or you're a Nike team school, um, you're probably going to run in that as well. Uh, more bags here, and that's pretty much it. So Nike is pretty short. Uh, again, I apologize that I couldn't have any pictures. There's no gloves in here. The gloves are actually in a different accessories catalog. The 2020 accessories catalog is not out. I will put the 2019 accessory link to that accessory catalog in the description below. Again, you guys would have seen all those gloves. I reviewed some of them because it is the 2019. I will maybe do a video on the 2020 as soon as that uh, catalog comes out. Okay, so now on to Adidas. All right, here's the fall 2020 Adidas catalog. So let's see what they have for us in here. Uh, this is all of the catalogs. So we're only going to look at page 40 to 45. We're going to go through it pretty quickly. Uh, but again, we're just going to look at football for this. So they started off with football. And there you've got a good shot of Aaron Rodgers. Um, but let's see. So I, I love Adidas. They go through all the technology in here. Um, so... If you don't know what it is, uh, again, I'm going to link the catalog so you can always look at this page for the different stuff that's in here. Um, you guys all know Boost. Uh, you all know Bounce. Um, and then there's some of these that they've had for a very long time. But Boost and Bounce are some of the newer ones. All right. So let's look at it 
the uniform prime knit one of my favorite materials um, ever that he just has I love the prime knit prime knit looks like they have a new prime knit um, actually I'm not sure how new the prime knit is but here's the jersey design jersey and football pants are both going to be their newest version of prime knit here again it can be customized just like the Nike uniform you can see all the different options that you have both for the sleeve and for the side of the pants here are some of the stock jerseys uh, you can see just again similar to Nike stock jerseys for your team um, if you're a youth team or you don't want to do a custom jersey this is really going to be your option so you've got all of the different colors here you can still brand it with your uh, name you can still customize the words and everything on there just the design of the actual jersey and pants you can't customize you're going to have that stock color uh, but it's clean and classic, so I kind of like it. Let's scroll down and look at some of the other stuff they have. Uh, they have here the flag football jersey. So unlike uh, Nike's 7-on-7, seven seven, um, and Adidas, I think they used to have 7-on-7 seven seven jerseys. But they've got uh, flag football jerseys. Um, love this because of the price point. $25, $20, um, again, this is for all of you flag football teams out there. This is an amazing price. This is something, I mean, I play on a lot of teams or have played on a lot of teams and you're not gonna find this price point for a flag football jersey. So glad that Adidas is bringing this option uh, to us. All right, let's see what else is in this catalog. Here's some of the custom jerseys. Gonna go past this, talk about, it. they've got some of their schools in here, which is a nice touch. Let's see. They do have custom practice jerseys, uh, more for your teams. Again, I guess you could use this for a, a flag football jersey as well, but at $90, maybe the flag football jerseys are a better option. I do love this. This is gonna be more their seven on seven. Now the pants are, are uh, still football pants. You can see that they are cut above the knee. So there's no knee pads that you can put in here. These are gonna be for your non-contact days. They still have thigh pads in there, which I like but you can obviously wear these without the thigh pads. So love that they don't have uh, the knee in here. So this is something that you can wear again for a uh, flag football. Um, again, you look, check out the top. So $70, $85, this is gonna be their version of seven on seven. Here's some of their padded apparel. Uh, gonna skip past some of this stuff. They've got different versions. Okay, now looking at some of their cleats. So Adidas does have their new innovation cleats in here. You know, they come out with new stuff year after year. Every year they come out with something new. This is the Ada Zero Prime Knit. Uh, this would be the 9.0. It doesn't look like they're adding a number on it. Uh, maybe they're just calling it Ada Zero now. Um, but this is going to be the newest one. This is going to be the Prime Knit. And it comes, you can see how high it is. Uh, it's gotten a little bit higher um, than the last year's Prime Knit. Uh, it looks a lot like the Vapor Untouchable Pro 3 from Nike. I do think that sock liner might be a little bit tighter, a little bit more compression. Um, usually Adidas is with their prime is just super tight. Uh, I, I'm trying to see this. This looks like it has a lot of overlays on it um, throughout like a majority of the cleat, which is going to give it a certain material. So I can't wait to get these in. Um, these will drop in more colors, but for the team catalog uh, right now, they just got them black and white. And you can see here, here's the date. Um, that it's gonna enter March 1st. If on the team side, you can expect it, and it's going to be out. Uh, they're already planning it out 2021, which means they're working on the next version for 2021 already. Here's the new at a zero cleat. So this is the prime knit version. This is the regular version. I actually really like this, um, just from looking at it. It's $120. Uh, I think that means that they increased the price a little bit, uh, but this right here, this is going to be great. This is going to be super comfortable. This is the internal booty that they've had for a while. They had it with the 7.0s. Um, they had it and they didn't have it really with the, the 8.0s. It was, it was a little bit different, but this should be very, very comfortable. They have also have a new heel counter on the back. Um, so I love this. They have the same plate. They still have not changed the plate uh, on this cleat. Um, so it's still the same plate, and I really wish Adidas would update the plate and give us something that is, I'm going to think, has more traction. 
Again, these colors, it's gonna, they're going to have a ton of colors. You know how Adidas does every year, but these colors here are going to be the team colors. You can see that this should be very light with this material. I'm not sure, but it, maybe it's going to be a mesh because you can see through it. And then you're going to have uh, this added support that you can see under. So it's kind of like fly wire because uh, you can see it goes from the plate to the laces. So it should give a supreme fit. Um, I'm excited to see the retail colorways because I think they're going to look even better. And usually all the cleats look way better in person than they do in pictures. Here's the Adidas Scorch. So this is going to be a little bit cheaper than just the regular Add a Zero. Uh, so that means that they're going to cut out some material. Now it's not going to have as... I'm wondering if the upper is going to be a little bit different, the part that goes around your ankle. It's going to be a little bit different material, and definitely this part of the upper is not going to be as light as the N zeros, but they're going to look very, very similar. And I wonder, they have Keenan Allen here, I wonder if Keenan Allen actually uses the scorches or if he's going to use something like the N zeros. Yeah, and all these are new cleats. Here's the carbons. The carbons have been a favorite of mine. Um, it looks like they're redoing the plate on the carbons a little bit. So I'm flipping back and forth. Uh, the rear studs look very similar to the Ada Zeros, but they are going to change the front studs on your forefoot. You can see these are going to be more diamonds at the back here, and then they're going to be rounded to give you a variety of uh, support um, when you're cutting. So what's new about this? $100 price point, still the same. They're double reinforced V-throat lacing. So I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, but uh, I guess we'll see when I get them in. Um, but the Freaks have always been good. I really like the design from uh, two years ago. Uh, they've innovated it again. Not exactly sure what's different with these carbons. Um, you're still going to have carbon in it as you have it in the name. Oh, it looks like they added bounce. This is going to be awesome to have bounce in the midsole. This is going to be very, a very, very comfortable cleat. With the bounce, you only saw that in the elites. You had it with prime knit, and you had it with um, with bounce. So it looks like it's we're going to have bounce in this cleat as well, uh, which is going to provide some support for you bigger players. I also expect this to come in a high, even though it's not uh, listed here, or at least a mid. And here is the nasty fly. Uh, 2e. This is going to be for your bigger players. So fly wide plate built on a 2e last for the big athletes. So this is probably going to be a lineman cleat. This is the new lineman cleat. Now, in previous years, they used the freaks for that. So your linemen have something to look forward to um, right here with the nasty fly uh, 2e. Don't know if this is going to retail because it's such a wide plate. Usually you only have the medium with plates at retail, but something to look forward to. Um, here we go, some of the uh, youth size cleats. You got the Ada Zero Junior on the right. Um, so again, that's going to look just like the adult version. And then you've got the Freaks uh, MD, which is the molded uh, rubber bottom outsole. All right, uh, gloves. Uh, Adidas has a new gloves in here too. So you've got Jalen Ramsey there on the right, sporting the new Ada Zero 9.0 receiver gloves. Um, it looks like they kept the extended cuff from the 8.0s. Um, you know, I like the, the shorter cuff, but they still have the longer cuff, and it looks like they're staying with that four-way stretch fabric, which is going to be like a, a primate material. Um, again, they have a, a really great uh, glove. Now, the uh, or great back of hand. What's new for them is going to be the, the palm. Now they're going to have two pieces of the grip tack, where they've always had one. Um, so we're going to have to see what the difference the two pieces make. The only glove I remember that has, has had two pieces in the past were the Cutters Rev Pro 3D, which I love that I don't think Cutters makes anymore, but that had a 3D palm. Um, it had three different pieces stitched together, but really allowed for the flexibility um, and in the ball feel in your glove. All right, so you can customize the glove. Again, this is not probably not gonna be at retail, more for the team sports. Um, then we get to the Freaks, the Freak 4.0s. Um, I already love what these look like. They look like they're going to be a little bit more, have a little bit more substance than the 3.0s. 3.0s were very light uh, in the material, but they had the padding. This looks like it's going to be a little bit more durable. You can see here, it doesn't look like it's padded, more padded in the, in the fingers, not necessarily the back of hand. 
So it's going to save you some weight and some, hopefully, heat because this looks ventilated as well, but also looks like a, a material that, uh, that may not breathe. So we'll see. The wrist is going to have the wrist straps that wrap all the way around. So that's going to, again, let this glove be used for so many positions on the field. Um, really, an all-around glove, all positions on the field. Looks like they're increasing the price to $60, the Freak 4.0s. And then they have the Freak Max 2.0, so that's going to be a new glove as well. And you can see that here on the right, um, that's really going to be for your lineman. It's also going to have that adjustable wrist closure. Here's the Adifast 2.0. They've had those gloves and the signal collars. They've had those for, for quite some time now. Um, so that's really where I was going to stop um, with this one. Uh, so you can see it goes into volleyball. So that's it. That's uh, your Adidas stuff. So I'm going to post, again, the, the link is in the description, the link to this catalog. And I'm going to post some of the highlights to my Instagram as well. Uh, definitely uh, bookmark them, share them with your friends, and um, you can see what's coming out. All right, so we got one more, and that is going to be the Under Armour stuff. Let me switch to that. Okay, so I apologize. Under Armour did a different format, so I'm going to have to zoom in here. All right, so again, this is going to be their full fall catalog, so we're going to switch through. Let's look at some of the football highlights. Again, more custom stuff, so this is going to be their custom jerseys if you're a UA school, you can look forward to what may come out for your team uniform. Um, here again, you've got the Ignite on the left, Stripes Prince, so it's just all the different custom stuff that uh, Under Armour offers. I always loved um, Under Armour compression. I've never had an Under Armour uniform, or a, a custom Under Armour uniform. The Chicago Thunder I paid, played for um, were Under Armour for a little bit. Um, here's some of their stock jerseys. Uh, you can see these are playing, but again, it's going to be a great fit. Um, so you guys are definitely going to be lucky for your UA schools. Let's get to some of the 7-on-7. Seven seven. Okay, so you can see here, here's a 7-on-7. Seven seven. Um, they call it training uh, tops and shorts, but really this is what a lot of you 7-on-7 seven seven are going to use. So similar to Adidas, you can see that they have the uh, shorts, uh, football pants without the knee, so no knee pads um, in there. Uh, Nike is the only one that has very light knee padding in, in their pants. Um, and then you have, of course, the compression short and long sleeve uh, from Under Armour. Now here's their padded apparel. Now they have changed their padded apparel through the years. Um, they've done some collaborations with it, but it looks like they're going to offer a seven pad, uh, you know, the three-fourths link like the other brands as well. They've got the traditional five pad, and then, of course, they've got the padded top. Um, here's some more different versions of it. Uh, so this one is the game day uh, armor. Now I reviewed their older game day stuff. This is going to be different. It's going to have different padding. Um, it looks like it's going to give a little more protection from the one I reviewed a couple years ago. Um, and then they've got the also the pro tops here as well. I wish I had them in so I could tell you guys what the differences are between the game day pro elite and just the regular game day pro. I, I wonder if it's just more breathable um, versus, uh, you know, the the pro that's not but you can see now they they partner with McDavid so McDavid has their own padded apparel but uh, they really have some good material with the hex technology and it looks like Under Armour is partnering with McDavid collaborating with them to produce uh, their tops as well all right um, so here's some other accessories now here we go new cleats uh, here are we're gonna see a new UA spotlight select mid um, that's over here at the bottom uh, to the top right. You've got the UA Spotlight Lux. Um, I love that the Lux is 120, that they've kept the price point uh, the same with Adidas and Nike at 120. Um, they did some really cool things with the Spotlights this year. Unfortunately, I couldn't get them in, so I definitely want to get in some of the UA stuff. They've always had a great fitting cleat, a very comfortable cleat. What I've wanted to see improvement with Adidas is going to be the plate at the bottom. They did that with the highlights, so we'll have to see if that translates over to the spotlights. If they do, um, this could be a game changer for Under Armour. Now they have the UA Spotlight Select Mid, uh, so it's probably going to use some different material. Um, they have a lightweight synthetic upper uh, that's going to be a mid, but you can see here it looks like it's going to have some type of booty in here in the cleat. Um, you can see it kind of in the design here that's going to give uh, a much better fit. 
Uh, looks like they use the Spotlight name throughout, so similar to how Nike uses Vapor throughout, they've got a Spotlight Lux, a Spotlight Select, and a Spotlight Franchise kind of through the line at different price points. Now they're bringing back the UA Blur. The UA Blur was one of my favorite cleats that they renamed Spotlight. Um, so I, I'm not sure, um, you know, at $110 versus $120 exactly what the difference is going to be. But they also have the Blur Lux Select and uh, again, they got the same UA highlight that they had this year. So we're going to get four new cleats uh, from Under Armour, um, really the UA Spotlight, Lux, and Select, and the UA Blur, Lux, and Select um, that we're going to, going to get to see. All right, going down to the gloves, um, they're redesigning the UA Spotlights. So the UA Spotlights are going to be $45. Um, here it's going to have breathable mesh with 3D screen print for lightweight structure. Um, so it looks like they're going to be even lighter than they were last year. The What you're seeing here in this image, these are the spotlights from last year. These are not the spotlights from 2020. That's going to be an all new design that we see sketched out here. So you guys can't expect to see that. It's going to look something like this. Now they've got a UAF7. Um, that's going to be their super lightweight glove, um, the UAF7. They've always had the F series. Um, so this is going to be their seventh edition. And then brand new um, highlight gloves. Um, here, so it doesn't say new, but this design looks to be a little bit new. Um, so we'll have to see if they're going to change the design or if we're going to get the same highlight glove from last year. But it is um, going to have the shorter cuffs, just like it did this year in 2019. And then, of course, they're still going to have the UA Combat and the UA uh, with the full finger and the half finger gloves. What you see here at the bottom left are the UA Playoff Cold Gear Three football gloves. I made a video about the best gear to wear in cold weather uh, that a lot of you guys loved. Um, UA, like I said, is the only brand that really makes a specific cold weather glove that retails to the public. Um, this has been traditionally super thick, uh, so it does keep you warm, but the ball feel is what you sacrifice. So definitely check out that video that I made. Um, otherwise, you always have the UA Playoff Cold Gear gloves to fall back on. I'm gonna skip some of this stuff. This is just some of their accessories that they have in the catalog. Definitely feel free to check that out in the link that I have in the description. Um, they still offer their visors, and they've had all these visors for um, at least a year or two when I think about the custom design, but they've had the other visors for years. Looks like they're gonna bring that back. Everyone has been a fan of visor clips, so you can purchase those. Again, I don't know if those are available to retail, um, but from a team perspective, you can uh, purchase those. All right, so that's pretty much it for the football side of things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video that I make every year for you. i definitely refer back to it. A lot of this stuff you guys should see coming out in the early spring. I always get that question, uh, when is this gear going to come out? Um, expect to see it in early spring, uh, March, April at the latest. If you have, again, if you guys see any of this stuff, definitely tag me on Instagram or share with me via email. Um, I'll definitely post to my Instagram and give you guys some credit. If you like my video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, uh, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.